What are you feeling? Well, one, the guy in the overalls, he owned this place. And he ain't happy. Can you describe what the guy looks like? Well, about five foot ten, medium build, black hair, he's a smoker. Died of a massive heart attack. Of course, when you eat a pound of bacon every day, what the hell do you expect? He's also a bit of an asshole. He feels really disrespected. Really? He doesn't... He doesn't like the place being in a mess. He doesn't like that the land was split up. doesn't like how the barn's been left to disrepair. Hmm. He feels that his legacy as a horse breeder and training trainer has been destroyed. He's he's just not happy about it. I am seeing a lot of horses going in and out of this barn. Really? Mm-hmm. Horses being trained to do ranch work. Being taken over to a round pen to be broken. And then they're trained. Then they're sold to the ranches in the area. So, you, you keep pointing that direction. Because so that's where the round pen, that's where they keep taking the horses to train them. So on the back side? Yeah. Okay. And, I mean, there are a few cows, but they just use the cows to help train the horses. But the methods that they're using are considered cruel by today's standards. We do not use those methods anymore. Makes right? a lot of sense. Yeah. But running a horse till it's exhausted, that's what they're doing in the round pen. Today's poor colts. And the guy in the overalls, I mean, he's yelling at his farmhands all the time, screaming at them. Also, he yells at his wife. He beats her, too. Ooh. Yeah, she, she's here. She's hiding because she's afraid of him. So, there is a woman here, then? Mm-hmm. Whereas it looks like he was in his mid to late 40s when he died. And I'm thinking Great Depression. Because I'm hearing you can't trust the banks because the banks collapsed. That was actually common sentimentality during that time. The one woman that I'm seeing, she's young. She's in her mid-20s. Hmm. saying she was forced to marry him when she was 15. There's, there's kids in the loft. Really? Yeah. Did you see one up there? A couple of them. <laughs> Can you... I'd say one would be a boy about eight of eight. Another one was a little girl of six. Boys wearing your typical coveralls for farm work, but the girl was wearing a flower sack dress, mm. blonde hair, some braids. She has a little raggedy and all with her. Oh, so cute! Yeah, yeah, she's cute as a button, but she's she's afraid. Mm. Saying that they're hiding up there because they're afraid of the bad man. This was a tack room. Tack room? Yeah, I've been seeing halters, bridles, saddles. <laughs> this was a tack room. Wow. <laughs> and I can smell the leather. Even though the barn's in such bad condition, I am smelling the leather. I'm following you.
Yeah, they would have had stalls on either side. Looks like they only had stalls right here. Um, maybe you're right. The stalls weren't very big. But I'm seeing this really hyper guy. Really? Yeah. He's from later. I think he died like late 80s, early 90s. But he's like super hyper. And he's, he's bouncing around. He's like bouncing off the walls. Real excited and says he wants to play. He's in his life. I think this guy's insane. But really? He, I don't think he's from this farm. I think he's from the subdivision behind the farm. Hmm. He's insane. The stuff he's saying is not making any sense. It's just... I think he is the one that influenced you that night. Really? Yeah. See, he's, he can help make movie references. Right now he's singing the Ghostbusters theme song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a new one. But he hangs out back here. Really? Yeah, the walkway. Horses here, milking cows over here. And the old guy with the overalls is here again, and he's like, see what they did? See what they did? And he has nothing nice to say about the women who own this land. Of course, he has nothing nice to say about me, either. Back in the day, were women allowed to be in the barn? It depended on the family. Some ranching families would allow it, some wouldn't. How do you think we'd have cowgirls? And True. horsewomen. Yeah, there's children walking up above. These were folding pens. This is where they put the brood mares. Hmm. that the house burned. You okay? Yeah. Somebody push you or something? No. Okay. It's the pinch nerve in my back. Hmm. <laughs> you were talking about a burnt house? Yeah. A house that burnt? Mm-hmm. There's a, another woman here. She's older. She's in her mid-40s. She's saying their house burned and they were forced to move in here. And, okay, so how many families are in here? There's two. Two different families? Two different families, but the guy in the overalls has had two wives. Hmm. And this barn's not healthy. Besides from the obvious, because the guy in the overalls does really, he's really pissed. He also hates women, to begin with. So women in particular are going to feel like they're being watched. They're going to feel like he's right over their shoulder. Hmm. Because he doesn't want the men here. He also wants them to clean up. He said he, he's calling them lazy. He's also saying all women are whores. Do you feel anything over in that direction? I think the guy in the overalls hangs out over here. Okay, how tall is he? Five foot ten. So about my height, hmm. for reference. Okay, uh, something you didn't know when Zach and I were here. Mm -hmm. 
and had the LCLS camera system, that's where we saw them. So because you have the tack room there. This. So you're picking him up over there. Mm-hmm. He likes to hang out back here. Would that make people feel unwelcome or heavy over here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. He he is pissed. One, he doesn't want me back here. But his reason for not wanting me back here is because I'm a woman. Um, essentially, by today's standards, he's a misogynist. But... Yeah, it's also hotter right there. So he's affecting the temperature. He is capable, though, of physical attacks. Wow. And he would gear more towards women as being the intended target. So sometimes women might have unexplained bruising, and it would be from him hitting them. Um, feeling of being watched, because he doesn't believe women should be here. He believes women should be barefoot pregnant and in the kitchen. Hmm. He's had two wives, though. Two? Yes. Okay. The young one, because I'm seeing her again, she's near the entrance. Over here? Outside. Oh, right there. She's still kind of holding on to her death state a little bit. And she was beaten to death by him because dinner was cold. Mm. And he beat her to death. The other woman who's older is the woman who married. But there's also another family here that's they're afraid of him, but he had no choice to move here. And it's his brother. Mm. And this guy, he, he beat on his brother's kids, his nieces and nephews too, as well as his own. And the older woman is saying he also raped the sister-in-law. Mm. But she's not here. They don't know where she's at, so I think she may have moved on. Sorry, I swore I saw somebody walk by. The brother. I'm out. This tall? Yeah. Brother's a little taller, but he's... He can't leave. He doesn't want to leave without his wife and kids. Cause what I saw out of the corner of my eye, I was looking there, and I saw him go right through this window. And then past that. But I didn't hear no footsteps. Yep, that would be him. That's, don't mess with that. That's a swallow nest. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Barn swallow. We're good. So I just heard the crazy guy said they're annoying. <laughs> Alright. But with all the children out there... People How many would, do you... I sense about 12 to 15. 12 to 15? Yeah. You would hear whispering from the loft. Okay, if you're... If you're out there, would it sound muffled? Of course. Alright. Also, if, anyone coming in here, they would also occasionally hear what sounds like footsteps up there. And it's the kids. Wouldn't make sense. Yeah. But what doesn't... These kids all died probably within two years of each other. Which is weird. I know things like scarlet fever could do that. There's no record of Pelton never being hit by a plague like that, like scarlet fever or measles. 
someone's saying they had typhoid. Typhoid. Okay, it's a little breezy. I felt a breeze go by. Well, because someone's saying typhoid, that they died of typhoid, which means their well would have been contaminated. Wouldn't make sense. That well, would explain why all the children are dead, why it seems like everybody died during the Great Depression. But the guy in the overalls, he had a heart attack. Okay. I'm hearing someone say they didn't even bother to bury him. <laughs> they dumped his body at the asylum. Alright. Okay, that was weird. Alright. I don't know what that was all about, but there. Alright. Uh, one of the kids decided to give it a try. Alright. Now, this is what he's going to hear. Is there anybody here? Can you say something? Can you tell us? Can you tell us your name? Are you here with us right now? You don't have to be afraid. This device will make uh, allow us to hear you. Dad. Dad? Which one? This is our home. Fears him? I know. But this is what he's going to be hearing. And he will go under with a set of headphones. Oops. Help me. Set of headphones. And blindfold. So he's not going to hear me ask the questions or see where I'm at. Um, this way we can get a better response. He'll be more in tune with the spirits. So, you'll actually see this in action. And when I feel like he needs to be pulled, I'll tap him on the shoulder to let him know it, it's time to come out. But I wanted to show this, guys, uh, show you this so you can see that this device is going to pick up the spirit world. Well, I'm hooking Jacob up to this. Everybody, he's going to go under. When I know he's nervous, first time ever doing this. And this is where kids like the the kids that are here like to hide out yeah um, he's already said some names um, of the children here so what we're going to do headphones on make sure it's nice and secure around your ears all right you ready yeah Is there anybody here with us tonight? Guys can can come out. We're here to communicate with you. Can you tell us your name? 
Hey, John, can you turn the volume up a little? Oh, yeah. Can you hear? Yeah, right there, right there. Can you tell us your name? We're not here to hurt you. What did you say? What did you say to her? Can you tell us your name? Are there any children here that want to communicate? You guys can speak. You're safe with me. Ben! There you are, Ben! There you Can you make a noise? I'm not going. I'm not going. All right, what I'm going to have to do is probably go under myself. This is the first time I'm ever going to do it. Maybe they will actually communicate if he asks the questions. So we're going to see. Okay? Yes, I'm here right now. I told you guys I'd come back. Okay, that was... That was someone else's voice. Hold on. Jacob? Calm down. <laughs> give me the blindfold, give me the, head, the headphones. Oh my god, it just for her to done go off. Yeah. Uh, does anyone want to speak? Or talk information. What sort of information? Are you still by me? I'm standing between the two people that I'm up here with. Just this? Yes. We're not going to hurt you. Okay. I know it's not easy. What? What happens? We'll see what happens. Come find me. Where are you? Are you lost in between, or are you lost in the going? <laughs> Closer. Right there. I'm looking at right at one of you. See there? Marilyn. Right, Marilyn? Go. Sit down. I'm not liking this. Want me to sit down? I'll sit down.
Is there anything you want to get off your chest? Leave it. What do you not want me to talk to you about? Accept it. What do you want me to accept? I know one of my kids is here. Is there somebody over here? Because I feel movement over in that corner. No, there's no one over there. At the bottom. At the bottom? Uh-huh. Horns. Not my horns. Was that the spirit that jumped me? Last time we were here? Couldn't make that out. Said horns in the corner downstairs. Yeah. But there was another voice that I couldn't make out. It's in the dark room. The room that I came out of. Stand up. What's behind me, John? I don't know. I couldn't make that out, but some guy is what I heard. Or somebody. I feel them. Most importantly, I see them. Okay, something, something dead. That's all I caught. How many guys are there? Three. Story. Tired. Retired. His eyes are open. My eyes are open. What are my ties to this barn? Barn? What are my ties to it? You remember this place. I do. From a long, long time ago. I'm not that person anymore. I think they went quiet. I'm not that person anymore. Back room. I see you. I see you too. Crap. Yeah, I see you. I also know you got someone else circling this barn. I also know you got someone over How there. How do you do that? How do I do this? I feel it. 
My body tingles when you're around me. It starts with the back of my head and it goes down through my arms. People you hate? I try not to back hate. Back in the head? Not defensive. When using. On the highway. What highway? Pendleton. Pendleton Highway? East. East. <sighs> I think I need to be pulled out. John, John. I know. John. Okay. You all right? Yeah. You good? Yeah, that was a little trippy. How do you think I felt? <laughs> what the fuck was that all about? I don't know, dude. They like that. I... <laughs> Yes, they do, but I noticed that was... <laughs> do we need to take you down to Jen? Uh... Alright. Are you, like... I'm, I'm good, it's just I think we need to cut it here. Hey. Uh, you wanna go get Teddy? Yeah, yeah. Alright. I'll go get Teddy. We'll shut everything off. For now. Where does this go? It's in here. Alright, put the blindfold on even though it's upside down. No nose piece goes yep, that's the nose. Whatever entities or into the spirits that are steer steer blah, blah, steel Ready? Yep, turn me on. Not in that way though. Three.